welcome, Glenn. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me. And congratulations. Uh, you uh, recently graduated from Howard University in Washington, D.C. with a master's in architecture. And uh, we were just so pleased to have you as an intern at the ACHP this uh, past semester. Can you just tell me a little bit uh, about your background that led you to historic preservation? I was born and raised in Memphis, Tennessee. And um, like you said, I just completed my master's of architecture degree at Howard University. Um, I didn't really have a straightforward path to historic preservation or to architecture. Um, I know prior to going to college, I never expressed any interest in architecture. Um, I was not interested in the architecture or the design of buildings. Um, but somehow in between the time of applying to college and arriving on campus, I decided to pick architecture in my major. And um, over time, I realized um, the value that buildings and the built environment and physical structures have to groups and communities of people and the way they use those as communi uh, communication tools and as forms of expression for their values and ideas. Um, and when I reflected on that, I saw how the communities I grew up in used the buildings that I was familiar with in those ways. And I learned about the history of the people who were in those buildings and the history of the buildings themselves and how it connected to me and how it connected to the uh, way I grew up in, and I guess to the way I came into the world. Uh, so when I realized that, that really made me interested in it and want to learn more about it and find a way to be involved with it. How are you hoping to use your architecture degree? I am uh, still developing an understanding of it and uh, the relationship with it. I would like to use it in a service role. I really have um, a great respect for it, the people and uh, the communities that helped to form me. And I would like to see myself one day uh, using my skills and my education to help other people um, in a form of agency to help them recognize the things that shape their lives and um, help others uh, maintain the things in their lives that they value. Um, so I hope to use it in a service role. I don't exactly know what that role is yet, but part of me coming to the ACHP and learning of the ACHP was um, being on the quest to know how to use how to use architecture in the role of service. And that's what I've been learning so far in my work here. You had a very interesting uh, final uh, paper. Your, your thesis focused on your hometown of, of Memphis, Tennessee. Can you tell us a little bit about that? My thesis, it focused on an historic neighborhood in Memphis, uh, centered around a street called Vance Avenue. Um, in the project, I presented the design of an archive and research center on a presently vacant site that historically was the site of educational institutions. Um, and I selected the neighborhood because of its historic value to Memphis. Um, during the late 1800s and early 20th century, um, it was home to people like Robert R. Church, who's credited as the first black millionaire in the South. Ida B. Wells lived there as a young woman when she first moved to Memphis. Um, it's a few blocks south of historic Bill Street here in Memphis, which is credited as the home of, of the blues. Um, so I picked this neighborhood because of its historic significance, but if a person who is unfamiliar with the area came to that neighborhood and um, saw it, they I don't think they would be immediately aware of the significance just because there had been decades of neglect um, and lack of resources and lack of support for the neighborhood um, and lack of respect for its historic value that have um, that uh, that has caused for that type of significance to not be displayed properly or communicated properly to people. Um, so the, the goal of the project was to design the archive in a way that would intensify a person's investigation into the history of the neighborhood 
and into and into their own heritage and expand this sense of identity and reality. Yeah, I read your thesis and I found it uh, absolutely fascinating. And I was wondering, um, unfamiliar uh, with, are there next steps? Is it something that you can move forward to actual reality? If I find the right people and shop this idea around, um, it could be created, it could come to light in a very small way um, in maybe collecting people's information and forming an archive um, on a small scale with people in a community or a neighborhood here. How has uh, your time uh, interning at the ACHP helped uh, formulate what you want to do in the future? Well, being here, I've really learned a lot, um, especially about how layered the preservation profession can be. Um, for this internship, I was not aware of how involved local and state and federal governments were in preservation. Um, I didn't really know much about the legislation that was involved with it. I didn't know about the importance of the Secretary of the Interior. So it's really um, exposed me to all of the different factors that go into um, preserving structures and uh, preserving environments that matter to people. And, um, and it's also shown me about how much money there is in preservation or how many uh, options there are to, to get money. Um, and so I think with, uh, with my career, hopefully if people find something that they want to preserve or find something that um, they value and they aren't sure where to begin or uh, how to get started. I think with this experience here at the ACHP, I've created some connections and uh, learned of some options and some routes that I think I could be of service to people and, and to communities and helping them to get started with their own ideas. And one of the things that I've enjoyed the most about working here is that I've learned that preservation um, and the work that's involved, anyone can be a part of it. They don't have to be a professional. They don't have to go to school for training for it, uh, but there is room for everyone to be involved and to play a role in it. And um, hopefully I can bring that to people. What is your next step? What's the next step in your uh, journey right now? Right now I am, uh, going to finish my internship with the ACHP and I am looking to continue um, working here in Memphis and I would like to establish my career here in Memphis. Um, this is where I would like to be and I would like to contribute to this community in some way. But uh, well, my next steps are to start my career and start my life. And we wish you the best of luck. It, you've really been a pleasure and a great help to us while you've uh, been with us. And uh, we'll, we'll miss you. I'll miss being here too, but thankfully I've made some good connections. And so I'm looking forward to keeping in touch with everyone.